Here in a tiny family cemetery in Tomahawk, Kentucky, 31-year-old musician Tracy Mullet of Warfield, Kentucky, frequently visits the grave of his older brother, Troy, who died on August 16, 2013, from complications due to IV drug abuse. Though Troy's death occurred more than six years ago, Tracy's pain is still very fresh. I watched him from a young age grow up to be the crazy man he was, you know. He, he was crazy, but he was art crazy, you know what I mean? He was family. I would have done anything in the world for him. Even though I fought with him almost every time I seen him, I would have done anything in the world for him. And, you know, if I could trade places with him today, I, I would definitely do that. Tracy says alcohol was Troy's main addiction and that Troy was actually gaining the upper hand on his drinking problem with help from a pill commonly and effectively used in medication-assisted treatment for substance abuse. He started using Suboxone, and nothing against Suboxone, it was helping him. I mean, 110%, he was looking better, he was acting better, but the thing was is he had tried for his medical card numerous times and couldn't get it, therefore he couldn't go to the doctor and get his medicine like most people can now. And uh, somebody introduced him to the needle. That somebody also told Troy he could divide a Suboxone pill into quarters, crush that quarter of a pill, and inject it to get the same effect at a much lower price. So that's what Troy did one week before his death. It was bacteria in the needle itself that uh, eventually took his life. Most other people that tend to use a syringe, they don't understand or realize the dangers of the syringe itself. To help people realize those dangers, Tracy wrote and recorded an emotion-filled rap song featuring powerful and very painful lyrics. I knew him, he's my homie ever since I was a kid. Grew up in the same home, living where I lived. I was seeing how we suffer, thinking something's got to give. Praying, saying, God Almighty, please just let him live. I don't want to lose him, he's my brother, don't you know? But August the 16th, when we had to let him go, the infection spread to him and it took him really slow as I ever. Lyrically, it was probably one of the hardest songs I've ever sat down and wrote, um, especially emotionally. You know, it, sometimes I'll just turn it on and listen to it, and it, it makes me break down occasionally. I can sense the death as it grew in the air, thinking to myself how this just was unfair. The thought that he was gone was just too much to bear, but I can only we know that I was there in the care. My, my intentions for that was I know there's a lot of other people that's going through the same thing he went through and I feel like you know if they knew the dangers of not just the drug itself but the dangers of actually using a needle that maybe maybe it would help one person and that's kind of what I was going for and, and hoping. If you got a friend or family member hooked on them drugs, just reach out your hand, show them some love, show them that you care, man, just give them a hug. And we can never bring back all the ones that we lost, but we should try and save the ones that's in them out of the cows. And sometimes we ponder on the ones that's done gone. For the ones that's still here, we need to try and stay strong. I bet you stop the In addition to educating listeners about the dangers of IV drug use, Tracy says he wrote the song to encourage people suffering from addiction to reach out to experts from accredited programs such as the Medication Assisted Treatment Program at OVP Health. If you're having problems, definitely reach out, get assistance, talk to somebody. There's people out there that will that'll help you. There's programs in place out there to assist you. I think that we need to basically get those people into a care facility such as OVP Health, and realize that additional assistance like that isn't something to be ashamed of. It's, it's a necessity.